Joseph. Yeah. What is the truth to you? What is the truth to me? Yeah, what does it mean to you personally? The truth to me is um, is the objective reality, which is something that um, that that sometimes uh, people are hard to perceive. But I uh, but I think that uh, people should learn to to uh, to perceive. The, the objective reality is uh, is uh, the way to explore um, our world. And uh, I think that the best way to do it is uh, by the, um, I hope it doesn't sound uh, too harsh, uh, but by, the, um, by, by the scientific method, which is, which is a very defined set of rules um, that, that if you follow, you can find out um, how this world really works. I mean, not s some, I mean, I mean, it's not sort of theories that are uh, they, they can be uh, they can be wrong they can they can sometimes produce wrong things but they always they always go to the truth finally they always uh, go somewhere that is that is right um, I mean for example for example uh, they, there are theories in, in psychology that that you can um, that you can that you, you cannot uh, prove that they are wrong I mean, or, or religion, you, you cannot prove, there's no proof that some religion is wrong. But in science, every, every scientific uh, theory uh, can, be, can be proven to be wrong. And that is a very, very, very uh, important uh, characteristics of, uh, of any theory. Um, and if a theory that you suggest cannot be, cannot be proven to be wrong, um, how to say it in English, um, then then there is a serious problem. Uh, that is probably not the. It probably means that that is not the right way to explore our world. Mm. Are you a scientist? Um, well, I, I don't deal with science, but I very well. I just I learned of of this um, method, and I think that it is the correct. This is something that um, that all people in the world should know, should be familiar with at least. Objective real objective uh, reality. Yeah, th that is what. what well, I, I I chose to to talk about this especially because because this leads to truth. Um, there there's philosophy and there is place in our world to philosophy, but but should be percepted uh, as philosophy and not as objective reality. For example, there's there's this philosophical idea that there is no objective reality or there is no single truth. And and I, I I can accept it as 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 a um, as philosophical uh, idea, but in any case, you, you when you when you live, you have to presume some assumptions about this world, some practical assumptions. And if you assume, and you can you cannot assume this as as a practical assumption. You cannot assume that there is no singularity. Uh, this bus can arrive. I, I don't know. There's this bus exists, or or this bus doesn't exist. I can I can take it, and it will leave me, and it will take me to where I, I have to go, or or not. There's just one si simple, one single answer, one si single answer answer to it. So so, you you, you can you. C it's it's very legitimate, and probably I, I do encourage it to talk philosophical debates, but still it is very important to 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 know how to perceive this world um, in the correct way. For example, not, not to think of uh, some theories that are not proven or even proven to be wrong, like, I don't know, astronomy or, or other uh, philosoph uh, spiritual um, ways, uh, and not, not perceive them as actual reality, uh, because, because it, it just makes people make mistakes and go the wrong way and, well, and, and still believe it, unfortunately. So, so I'm not trying to you know t take all the mystical things out of this world uh, because because they're they are feelings and they're they're like they're just they're just just aren't you should just okay just leave them and this is, uh, I'm not trying to make the, to, to make people think of the world as you know as a cold place with with only scientific facts and and no nothing else of course not um, there's there's a um, 
there's a lot of uh, a lot of culture uh, there's book music music uh, dancing uh, every, every kind of other uh, art that is should also exist but but if you're asking about the about what is truth to me then this, this is something that i think uh, represents the truth this way to to explore our real world this objective reality and the way to explore it is the scientific method which i think everyone in the world should be familiar with well that's do that's you lie no i i think this is what no now you, you never lie yeah you mean right now or or whenever ah yeah well yeah of course we do we do little lies i just try not to do it too much but we all lie sometimes i think what makes you lie uh, what makes me lie? Uh, the, the goal that I have, to, that I want to achieve at that moment. Um, so well, when you something. when you try to achieve a goal, yeah, you always have to bring a little bit of deceit to it. No, of course not. Oh. Uh, because it's much easier not to lie, and uh, and it usually brings good results, pretty good results. And uh, like my father says, uh, it's a citation of somebody else. Uh, uh, like uh, honest, honesty is, is the best policy. That's what what he says. So, and it's I, it works well about well being honest. But if you ask me if I if I have never lied, then well, I sometimes do it. Yeah, like everybody. I am I cannot recall a specific case, but probably I do it. I I don't remember, but probably. But I try not to. That's the truth. <laughs> is truth totalitarian? Is truth totalitarian? Hmm. You know how like logic and reason brings totalitarian. I think that uh, nature is totalitarian. It's not the truth. Does it answer your question? Nature. Yeah, the the, the hum human nature and right. not only human nature is uh, totalitarian in a way. I mean, since since uh, it is. It is in your in your interest to be in the control of uh, other objects slash aspects, uh, people, uh, animals, or anything else in the world. It is in your interest. Then, then you and if you gain the power to control these things, then it's just logical to to use it. And that's actually totalitarianism. Uh, I, I, truth I, I do, is I do not. What truth is limitless. It's not. Uh, and truth. It's not. It doesn't have any bounds. It's you know. It's um, is it is it related somehow to 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 totalitarianism? Like I mean, to control. Can you control with truth? Um, in in my understanding of the word tr of the word uh, truth, can I control it? Um, can, can I? What's the question again? Can you control people with truth? Um, I think that these are not related uh, things. I think that you can you can control people with uh, truths, and you can control them with lies. You can control them in several different ways. Um, but whether to tell you the truth is the best way to control people, I'm not sure. Why well, I do not encourage uh, lies to people and controlling them, but. But if you ask me, is it the best way? I mean, the, the most, the powerful way to control people? I'm not sure. Um, not at all. Right. And is there absolute truth? One universal truth that applies to all of humanity? Well, that's what I, I started my, my, my answer with. You're saying that there is objective reality. Yes. And that is absolute. Yes. And if you, and it if applies to all of them. Yeah, exactly. And if, and, and if even if you, I don't know, and if you believe in in one God or another or in one philosophical idea or or the opposite one, um, there's still this rock that is going to fall down if you leave it, and it's just it's just truth. The f physics is is truth. Um, physics is truth. Yeah. Thank you.